Now you, Cal, stay here. Hi, I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. I'm Tony Fastadder. My family's been blessed to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. And it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tony Fast. If you have not watched uh, any of my videos before, hey, that wasn't awkward. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you are a subscriber and have been watching videos for a while, don't forget to subscribe as well. We are going to do a giveaway. We uh, are over 33,000 subscribers now. Getting close if we're not there already, but we should be there by the time this video comes out. 33,000, it's crazy. We hit 40,000, we're going to do some giveaways. So. Let's get that uh, number bumped up there and we're gonna give away a bunch of cool stuff like Fast Egg merch and Farm Focus merch, all in a bundle with maybe some of my favorite stuff off my Amazon store. So that stuff's all in the description below. You can check that all out. But I uh, wanna say thanks also from Stepping Out Missions. If you guys helped donate to, the, to their fund for helping with storm cleanup, whether it was in Iowa uh, where they work were first and I'm not sure where they're going after that but you guys really blessed their ministry with a lot of money to get them to go and, and just do good and help out people so thank you thank you very much and thanks to Nick Welker for jumping on and helping with that fundraiser well over thirty thousand dollars have been raised you guys are awesome so we're cutting canola this is the last of the canola for the year. We got one little 40 acre field to cut after this. This is a 1,080 acre field. We will have this wrapped up and then we are gonna go cut the last of our spring wheat and then the hemp. So we are getting on the home stretch of harvest. Could be done besides the hemp by this weekend, which would be kind of nice. Tony, you want us to just made the last pass of canola. We are on the weed again. I uh, cannot complain about how this is running. I was hoping, hoping for uh, 40 bushels. This field so far is averaging 51. So that's awesome. No complaints there. And this was even a wheat crop last year. So this wasn't like this came off of uh, peas or something like that that's usually had a little higher yield the following year than the wheat on wheat but uh and yeah 60 bushels right where i'm at now so things are going good we're uh, gonna haul to a bin at home and then when that bin is full we the only thing we have left is one bin for hemp and then the rest of the bins are full and we will be putting the rest of this in a grain bag It is so hard to see that direction this time of day. Finished canola harvest earlier today. Started wheat harvest again tonight. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's almost here. And then harvest 2020 is a wrap. It's a nice looking truck at night. Look at all them lights. Well, humidity's coming up. Temperatures are going down. Getting a little tough out, so we're shutting down for the night. Morning. Windmill. Well, the old service truck engine may be getting on its last leg. Losing oil pressure on it. Burns a little bit of water once in a while. Well, kind of consistently goes down 350, 360,000 miles on a C7. So, boy, the coyotes are going crazy this morning. Anyways, so what to do? Not really a rebuildable engine from what I understand. And maybe we uh, find a crew cab, cabin chassis to put this on. Anybody know of one? Or what about a W900? Make it a single axle. That would be sweet. Thoughts in the comments. Take any suggestions. Right there. Oil pressure. 25, 50, halfway between. 
Normally our CAD engines and our trucks on startup have about 70 PSI. Not this one. All right. You want to cut west of the dam? Yeah, I think so. Those cows are straight in front of me there past those trees and there's some up on the hill there in that CRP. I think that's where they're supposed to be, but I don't think what's going to happen. I want to push them way south, so. Yeah, you want to start cutting on the east side, kind of, and keep cutting west? Or? Well, I don't know if we can push them all the way north along the fence, or what. Yeah, we could. So just go around to the south side and cut along the west side. Yeah, I guess. Just go jump across there and start cutting around the dam and we'll see if we can keep them from going south. Anyways, like I was saying, cow tracks. These cows were in here earlier. The owner had them out, or I thought, but they're over there. And there's a lot of damage to eat. Like this right here. You thought soft fly damage was bad. Look at what 20 cows do for who knows how long. So we're gonna have a little rodeo with combines, chasing cows later. And I'm gonna open up this gate. Dad's cutting up there, gonna chase him this way. Hopefully we can get him in here. Boys cresting the hill. Cows are turning around, going along the fence. Is this gonna work? Come on, cows. Always that one loner that has to hang back. Come on, come on. Go in the gate, come on, come on. I'm trying to not pick up rocks while I do this. There you go. I think we should use combines to chase cows all the time. That works way better. Now you cows stay here. Just sitting here, waiting to be filled. They're cutting a little bit slower right now because you quite can't see it but there's some nice steep hills that they gotta cut so they're cutting a little bit slower right now so it's taking a little bit longer to get filled
get back. Truck's already ready to go. Time to go back to the bag. 